Okay, I'm going to go through uh, the Roy Pow battery features um, with you. This battery here is a 12 volt 100 amp, but we also have them in 24 volt uh, to suit different um, uh, trolling motors and bow mounted engines. Wh wh whatever voltage your engine is, is what you'd match your battery with. So this is a 12 volt battery. You've got your terminals here, your positive and your negative. Uh, it's got a BMS system, which is a Bluetooth management system. So if I push this for a few seconds, it turns on and you can download an app and you can connect your phone using the app to the battery. And on that, you can see all the details of the battery, how many amps you're drawing if you're using it, what percentage is left, um, how many volts are in it, um, just how the battery is, is performing. You can see all of that from your uh, app on the phone. Here on the side, we've got two ports. They're like ethernet ports. One of the ports, you can plug in this little module here. So that is a, a display that you can put on your boat or put wherever you need to put it. Uh, that's the other end that plugs in. And that will show you how much power you have left in your battery, okay? The other, the other port that's on it, that can be used to communicate with the battery. You can plug in a computer and, and see all the details and the temperature and just how the battery is performing. So you can, you can hardwire in a computer or a laptop to see how your battery is performing. Now, they're a very, very high quality bat uh, battery, so they are. Uh, you've got these lugs here so you can bolt it down nice and secure on your boat um, or wherever you're going to put it. Uh, they come with a five year warranty but they're expected to last up to 10 years and more. Uh, it has a three and a half thousand cycle um, capacity. And what that means with the three and a half thousand cycles, it can take three and a half thousand charges. Now one charge is when the battery is completely empty, so it's at zero, and you charge it up to 100%. That's one full cycle. So you can do that three and a half thousand times. So in theory, that's like charging it every day for 10 years. Um, if your battery is a quarter full or half full, just say half full and you plug it in and charge your battery, that's only half a cycle. So it's no harm, it doesn't, you're not using up your cycles if you're charging it when your battery is, isn't fully discharged. You can charge it at any time. They're really light, very easy to, to lift. They're about 15 kgs in weight. Um, they are vibration resistant, so they're built in this, this, this high quality housing uh, so they can be installed in your boat and keep safe and keep dry and resist vibrations. Um, there is Wi-Fi connectivity if you, if you need uh, and you don't need to service these batteries. There's no regular filling, uh, there's no distilled waters, there's no nothing, absolutely nothing. It, it is what it is, just keep it charged. Uh, the, the batteries are they're suitable for fresh water and salt water. Um, they have, as I said already, they have a long life because lithium life PO4 batteries, lithium life PO4 batteries like this are made up of lots and lots of little cells that are all inside in, in, the, in the case. So the higher quality and the better matched those cells are, so the more equal those cells are, the better quality your battery will be. So every cell is tested before it goes into that battery to make sure that they all match each other and that one isn't like low power and one is a high power, that the, they're evenly matched. And that gives you a very, very high performing battery. That takes time and it does add cost, but it gives you a very, very high quality product. Um, what else can I say? The 12 volt 100 amp, what that means is it's a 12 volt battery and that can give you 100 amps of continuous supply for one hour. So if you're using a trolling motor, for example, and it's drawing 10 amps, and you'll be able to see that on your, on your app, that will give you 10 hours. So you divide your 100 amps by how many amps you're using, which is 10 in this case, 100 divided by 10, that will give you 10 hours. If you're only drawing five amps, that will give you 20 hours. So on windier days, it, we, you will tend to draw more amps, but that's how you can calculate it, how much, how long your battery will last. When you're on spot lock, it uses very, very little and it will last a really, really, really long time. Uh, they, they work well in both cold and 
hot temperatures, but you, you should never ever charge a frozen life lithium life PO4 battery. The 24 volt version does have a heating system and it will warm your battery up so it doesn't go, it, it will not be too cold to charge it. But the 12 volt one, you, you cannot charge it outside if it's frozen. You need to bring it inside. That's just an important feature that you need to remember. Okay, so a question we get asked a lot, or people wonder a lot, is why lithium life PO4 versus uh, a lead acid, conventional lead acid battery, which is way, way cheaper. With a lead acid battery, when you charge it up, they charge up to roughly, say, 12 and a half volts when they're fully charged. As soon as you start to use the lead acid battery, the voltage starts to drop. So it goes down to 12 and a half, 12.4, 12.3, right down to about 10 and a half. And at 10 and a half, your battery is absolutely completely flat. And during that process, the power that that battery is giving is dropping and dropping and dropping and you're, you're getting less performance all the way. Um, and when you fully discharge a lead acid battery down to 10 and a half, it will probably take, it will take a charge after that, but you have actually damaged the battery. So they get damaged when they're discharged and they lose power as you're using them throughout the day. With the lithium life PO4 batteries, they hold their power all day long. So when the battery is at 50%, if you start the day at 100% and halfway through the day you're at 50%, the performance of the battery will not change. You, you will not see any difference in the power that it's giving out. So all day long you get basically full performance out of the battery. Now these batteries don't charge actually down to zero. There's a protective circuit built into the charger and that, that circuit detects when the battery is low in power. When it's low in power, it just switches off the battery, just like a switch. So all of a sudden you lose power, okay? Now there is, of course you can check on the app to see how you're getting on and what performance is and how much is left in your battery, but to protect the battery, it switches off the battery, it stops giving out power, even though there's a bit of power left. So when you bring it to the charger, plug it in, away you go, it charges back up to 100% and they will perform and perform and perform and they do not get tired, it's just, it's 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 actually amazing when when you see the difference. Um, another feature with these Roy Pow batteries is, well, firstly with lithium batteries you cannot charge a lithium battery when the temperature is zero degrees Celsius because they can freeze inside or it's it's just too cold. It can damage the cells when that when if you try to charge it. So if your battery is in the boat and it's it's freezing outside, you shouldn't actually charge it in. Uh, at that temperature, you either need to heat it up or you need to bring it inside where it's warmer and then charge your battery. With the Roy Power batteries, they have a built-in heating system. So they will warm up the battery, the, the ba so the battery will be above freezing temperature and you can remain and charge it inside when it's still in your boat. Really, really nice feature.